Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use She Happens Cosmos Advanced. This is version 4.0.5 and I'll be using it in Ragnarok Clicker. And this is directly after my last video showing how to use the Cheat Happens um, Cosmos Beginner. So this will be doing the same exact thing we did last time except in the advanced version. So let's start out. Uh, when you're using the advanced, you need to know what type of variable you're searching for. In this game, it happens to be a double. So right here where it says value type, you're going to click the down arrow and choose double. And now we're able to search for the values in this game. We're going to do the same thing we did last time where our first search is going to be for our first passive damage character level along with the total adventure levels. Because every time you level up a character, it levels that up too. So let's go ahead and up this twice. And as you can see, this is level two and the total adventure levels is two. So before we do our first scan, we select the target window. So you're gonna hit this drop down bu button here and you're gonna choose Ragnarok Clicker. And now we're searching inside of Ragnarok Clicker. Our first value is gonna be two because that's the level of this character along with total adventure levels. Do our first scan. Level the character up a couple times. See they both change to six. So we'll do our next scan at six. And now we're down to just two values. See how much quicker it is when you know what type of value you're working with. So we'll go ahead and change this to nine, 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 nine. But anyway, now you can see all those nines are there along with the total adventure levels are there. And we're gonna get 499 battle manuals once we transcend. So we wanna change that to a higher number. Now we're gonna get almost 5 million books after we transcend. So that's good. And we'll just leave the character level at that for now. We're gonna update all the character skills and we'll just blow through the levels now until we, until we hit a max. This program also has the speed hack function in it. So you right here, you'll see the tab for speed hack. You click on that, you click enable speed hack and then you can change the speed by going up and down on the arrows. And it goes up to 15, but for this video, we're just gonna leave it at one because we're already killing everything fast enough. Since we have all that passive damage added on from the books and everything else, we're gonna be able to blow through this relatively quickly anyway. For those of you that have not seen the first video, I removed the uh, Cheat Happens Cosmos Advanced off the screen. So you can see, we're just clicking through the levels and just blowing through all the enemies until we hit a max that this one character can do by himself. All right, see how we're getting up to 58, 63K. We can easily level up this guy and this guy now. So we're just gonna go ahead and start that leveling process now. So I'm gonna bring Cheat Happens back up on the screen and we're gonna clear our scan results by clicking Reset Scan and get all these characters to level one. Might have bit off a little more than I could choose with that guy there. We'll see, we might be able to get his levels in there. So now that we're just searching for doubles, we could search for a number that's only a one a lot easier than we could last time. So we do our scan and the scan's already done. And you can see that some of the values are already changing or they're not even whole numbers at all. We're just gonna weed them all out. And get all the characters up to level two. And our next scan is gonna be for two. And you can see all these other ones are 1.9, 1.9, and there's only a few whole numbers that are twos. We have one, well, let's just go ahead and level up the characters again so we can see it. Level them all up to level three. And all these change to three. So it's safe to say that these are our characters. So we're gonna change them all to 9,000 this time. And now all the characters are level 9,000. And you'll see we're gonna start, we're gonna be clearing pretty fast here, just like we were before. And once we start getting some of these spell add-ons, especially for the later characters, you're gonna see a giant increase in damage. It's hard to tell here, just because uh, these enemies are so low level. But we have enough characters to take us pretty far now in the game. 
So now that you've caught up with all these passive damage effects on the characters, we can just start going through the levels faster again. You can see it's taking us a little bit longer to get through these characters. So once it starts getting to the point where it's taking a while, it kind of is now. It's taking long enough here. So we're just going to go through our next set of levels here. We're going to bypass this character because it's just a bit high. It's going to take too long to get the money up. So we'll just get these. Get six characters. So we'll reset our scan. Starting scan will be one. Level them all up to level two. Let's just go up to level three. Weed them out a little bit quicker. And there they all are. One, no, let's just level up again so we can check it in on the screen. All the ones that go up to four are going to be our characters. That's all of them. We've changed them all to 9,000 here in the screen. And you can see they're all 9,000 on here. And once we start pumping up these skills, I usually start from the bottom ones because they do like the most damage. We can start blowing through levels again and going through collecting all the rest of the skills on the characters. As you can see, we've unlocked the Valkyrie and we're able to get it. So we can go to rebirth almost instantly here. Let's just get a couple more levels. Make sure we have enough funds because we need to get it up a few levels. So we'll level up all three of these at once. Reset the scan. Scan for one. Change them all to two. Next scan. There's only three whole numbers that are twos here. We only have three characters, so it's safe to say that those are our three. And we have them. Let's go ahead and get some more skills on the highest damage dealing character before the Valkyrie. And we'll just try to blow through some levels and we need to get up to 19,200 Q. And now we're ready to transcend. So I'm going to remove Cosmos from the screen. And we'll go ahead and through the transcend process. So we click transcend. You'll keep your equipment, battle manuals, Imperium cards, all that other stuff. And we're going to gain this. So we lose everything else, but we're not really worried about Zenny because you see how fast it is to collect it. So we'll hit yes. And as you can see, we have 5 million battle manuals, which we can use to pick up more cards or level up the ones that we have. We now have equipment that we can use. And that's it. It's just that easy to cheat in Ragnarok Clicker using the Cosmos Advanced Cheat Software. Thanks everybody for watching. You can find links to my Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube at chopdees.com. And you can also message me directly on Twitter or on Cheat Happens website. I go by Chopdees on both of them.